What is up Karatics? Welcome back to the series where I build popular Fast and Furious vehicles using cars in GTA Online. Remember to let me know down below in the comments what Fast and Furious car you want to see me customize next and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next build video. Now again guys, remember that the Fast and Furious series is separate from the normal movie slash TV show series. But anyways, in today's video we're going to be building Brian's legendary Toyota Supra Mark IV from the first movie. The car we're going to be using for this build is obviously the Jester Classic, which is directly based on the Mark IV Supra, and as most of you already know, even offers a livery that's directly based on the one from the movie. Now the Supra from the first film is the car that really started the spark for these cars, which eventually gave them a massive following and crazy premium in the automotive community, now back in the early 2000s, you could buy an almost perfect used manual Mark IV Supra Turbo for like $20,000, and now that same car is well over $100,000 depending on the spec and miles. I've seen pristine, low mileage stock examples go for well over $200,000, which is absolutely insane, but the Fast and Furious is really what kind of started this cult following for this car. And obviously, Paul Walker's passing in 2013 made these cars skyrocket even more when they showed his personal white Supra at the end of the seventh movie. It just made the values on these things go crazy, which, again, is what they sit at now, a hundred to $200,000 for a manual with the turbo. So, quite crazy. But anyways, let's go ahead and start the build for Brian's Supra from the movie, The Fast and the Furious. All right, the first Fast and Furious Supra build, let's do it. Okay, so as usual for these builds, I always do uh, full armor and performance mods uh, for all of them, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, bumpers, all right. So for this one, you wanna go all the way down here um, to the uh, drift with intercooler. So this is the drift bumper with the intercooler. This is gonna be the closest to the real car. Now the real car, the grill was a bit smaller, but in general, all things considering, this is gonna be the closest. Um, if you look at the other ones here, this one just has the exposed turbo, which doesn't work, and the splitter's off. Um, I mean, you really just look at all these options here, and, and the closest really is the, uh, the drift with the intercooler. So we're gonna do that. Now something to mention here, a lot of people get this wrong, the hero car had an intercooler up front, and then the stunt cars and all the other cars used um, had a sort of like mesh grill instead of the exposed intercooler. So that's how you can tell the hero car uh, versus the uh, stunt cars, that's how you can tell the difference there. But um, alright, continuing to rear bumpers, this one you want to leave it stock, just a bunch of ugly diffusers, so <laughs> leave that stock. Uh, chassis. So for this one, you want to do either the secondary cage or primary cage, it really doesn't matter. Uh, you don't want to do the race seats. Um, the car had pretty much like stock looking super seats with some reupholstery done to it in the blue, which we are going to do um, later in the video. So, um, so secondary or primary. Now the real car did have a yellow cage and the reason for that is because the original owner of that car, Craig Lieberman, his Supra was yellow, and then it was repainted orange for the movie, but then they never actually painted the roll cage because it was too much of a hassle to take apart the car, so they just left it yellow. But That's why the roll cage is yellow in the uh, Fast and Furious Supra, but uh, you actually can replicate that here in GTA Online, but for some reason Rockstar did link the mirrors to your secondary color. And there's no mirror option at all, so it's not like if you can choose, like, you know, override it and do primary mirror, you can't. So, um, the best way to go is with the uh, primary cage, but I'll do secondary just so you guys can, um, you know, see the, uh, see, see how it looks. Alright, engine, exhaust. So for this one, you want to go with the single chrome exhaust. On the real car, I actually had it on the other side, but, um, you know, this still, still works. Uh, headlight covers, you want to skip this, leave it stock. Fenders, you want to go down here to the rear spats. So these are the ones you want to put right here, the rear spats, almost identical to the real car. Very, very similar design. Obviously, clearly influenced by <laughs> that body kit. Um, hood, you want to go down here to the uh, performance hood. Again, very similar to the real car. Lights, you want to leave these stock. 
um, liveries. So the livery is all the way down here is called 10 minute car. Obviously a reference to when Dom told Brian I said a 10 second car, not a 10 minute car when he showed up with the uh, the super on the back of the flatbed truck. So <laughs> absolutely love that. Very, very cool. Rockstar and their sense of humor. Um, so of course we're gonna do that. Very similar to the real car, I love that. Um, continuing, before I almost backed out there. <laughs> We're not done yet. All right, we got a license plate. So I do have my four Paul kind of glitched, possibly, plate on here. Um, now, the real plate from the actual car was, of course, a California plate, similar to this one here with the same script. And the text on it was 3NTQ305. So for those of you who, who want to replicate that, you can. Um, but Rockstar still hasn't given us the website for plates, so yeah, can't do that unfortunately. So I just went ahead and decided to do my four paw plate for this one. Respray. This one's actually really easy. Go to metallic, go all the way down here to metallic orange, and this is actually very, very close to the real car. You don't have to do much to this. Um, and the gold pro on this is pretty spot on. So you come standard with a gold pearl. You could spice it up a little bit if you want to, but in, in the yellow is just way too much. It's just a little overkill. Uh, to me, the gold is the perfect balance, especially when you see it outside in direct sunlight. I think it's perfect and pretty similar to the real car. The car was maybe a tad bit brighter in the paint color, but without using any glitched hexes or anything, no the metallic normal orange with the standard gold pearl is perfect. At least to me. Well, not perfect, but it, it's it's enough for me. I, 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 I'm very happy with the way this color looks on this car. Um, secondary color. So this is what we were talking about earlier, the roll cage. So, I mean, it would have been super cool, right, to go ahead and throw the uh, yellow roll cage on here. Boom. Yellow. So that would have been super, super sick, like Whatever the real car, even though this roll cage is kind of wild. Um, but unfortunately, like I said, it transfers to your mirrors, and it's a bit of an eyesore to have yellow mirrors on it. It just looks really, really weird. So the best thing to do here is just to go ahead and make the orange match. Orange, there we go. All right, and then trim color. So this is the interior. So the real car did have a blue trim interior, so we're gonna replicate that here. I'm surprised Rockstar even let us do this. It's super, super cool. And the closest is gonna be uh, either the ultra blue um, or the racing blue. Personally, I think the racing blue is a bit closer. I think the ultra blue is just way too bright, um, especially when you see it from out here. I think the racing blue is perfect, so we'll do that. Got an eye for this stuff. Okay, uh, continuing to roof, you wanna leave the stock. The car did have a Targa. Um, this car doesn't have that or even the cutout for it, so yeah, uh, stock it is. Skirts, you wanna go with the primary lip skirt, again, very similar to the real car, even with all the decals and stuff down there. This looks super cool. Again, primary lip skirt. Spoiler upgrades. It, so you want to go do. down here to the carbon wing type 2. This is going to be the closest out of all the options we have here because of the uh, placement of the uh, posts. So placement of the brackets there for the spoiler. Um, you can also go with carbon wing type 3, but the placement Again, of those brackets, it's just, I don't know why I said post, the placement of the brackets is just too far out. Uh, again, the closest is going to be the carbon wing type 2. Suspension. Uh, this one's a bit up to you. I mean, my opinion at least, I think the car is low enough. The real car didn't really sit that low. Um, you know, definitely did not sit this low slam. That, that's very incorrect. <laughs> Completely wrong. Um, so, I mean, if you want to lower it a, a little bit, maybe, but honestly, I think stock is really good. I think it's the most accurate, so I'm going to keep the stock. After we change the wheels, I might go Making back and adjust it a little bit, but I think the stock is where it's supposed to be. Transmission, yeah, turbo, that. all that, of course. The car did have an upgraded turbo. Um, you know, it, was, it started life, the hero car of it is, as a twin turbo Supra, and then Craig Lieberman converted it to the single turbo um, Supra, so... All right, wheels. So for this one, uh, there's a bunch of different wheels you can actually use for this build. So let me just go through them here really quick. Um, in the high-end category, was the sport category? Sorry, sport category. In the sport category, you can use the Speed Mark V. 
um, even though the, the hubs aren't connected to the wheels as you can see but I mean these are pretty similar um, you can also use the Infernos which is my personal pick I think it's the closest that we have in game to the real wheels you can see it has like the two multi-piece design there um, the chromolip the five spoke design I think it's the most um, accurate or the closest we have in game and then uh, alternatively you can also go to track and throw the wheel on here called uh, 90s running but to me the spokes I don't know they just don't suit it that well the way they curve uh, they're just too big um, so again to me the closest is going to be the sport and then the Inferno. I've also seen people use, uh, where are they? I've seen people use some what, some of these as well, the Ice Kid, um, or the Rough Welds, or even the, these right here, the Master. People use a bunch of different wheels, but at least to me, um, I think the closest is gonna be the Inferno. So we're gonna do those. Wheel color, you're gonna leave alloy. You Windows, so the car Technology didn't really have any tints, um, so I guess we're just going to keep that stock. Hey guys, just wanted to quickly mention here as I'm editing this video, I noticed, um, I guess it kind of threw me off a bit. Pretty much in the entire movie, the car has the target top off with the windows down, so <laughs> I wasn't really looking too much at the rear quarter windows and of course the rear glass to get a better idea on the tints. Um, but long story short, I think a dark smoke or light smoke tint will be the best option, but in this video I did keep the windows stock, but yeah, just to clarify, uh, dark smoke or light smoke is what you want to have. And that's all the options there. Alright, let's go ahead and take it for a drive, exit to ground. All right, here we go. Look at that color in the sun. Oh yeah, definitely brightened up a lot in direct sunlight. I think that's perfect, actually. That's really close. Very happy with that. First person here. Wow. I love the blue and everything. That's so sick. <laughs> I actually like that a lot. I know some people were like, oh, middle Fast and Furious builds are kind of boring, but the level of, of options Rockstar put in here so that you can replicate it, I think it's just super, super cool. The livery, the references, I love it. Floor in here. Now this car um, is rear wheel drive, of course, and unfortunately this car is one of those cars that suffers from the infamous slow handling flags. Very, very annoying. You can hear it, like, struggling over all the bumps, the engine that doesn't even know what it wants to do. See, it's like it's terrible, absolutely terrible. And if you mid drive, it doesn't go anywhere, <laughs> it just sits there. <laughs> if you take a corner and floor it, it just gets stuck, like redlining. Listen to this, it's so bad. Even with the slow handling flags, if you can ignore the annoying sounds that it makes, it, it still has enough power, <laughs> even with the slow handling flags, to to still you know power through the corners and stuff. It's not a slow car by any means, but it would be better without them. And Rockstar did partially remove them, I believe with the Colonel Enterprises DLC, they partially removed the flags, but then they added them back in with the uh, Rug Wars DLC, which kind of sucks. So this car was able to mid-drive at one point, but uh, well, that's gone again. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, but super, super cool car. Man, these windows are like way too transparent. Look at that trunk. It looks like I have a broken glass or something. Do I? Is that a glitch? What the heck? Is it? Oh wow, it's actually that transparent. My god, that's ridiculous. Yeah, maybe maybe some light smoke tints would look better on this. Yeah, I would I would recommend that. At least these these windows are way too transparent. They're like ultra clear. <laughs> Alright, let's open here, open all the doors and stuff. Vehicle doors. I haven't seen this engine bay in forever. Let's see. 
Nice, nice, nice. No exposed turbo, unfortunately. Even though it is an upgrade option, but only in the grill area. It looks good. Interior. Oof, the texture quality in this truck is terrible. What is that? It looks like a burned up car. That's terrible. That's really, really, really bad. Yikes. I'm not a fan of that. But the interior is sick. I think it's super cool. The, the blue and everything. I love that. But, um, the car is very cool. I'm pretty sure everybody watching this video already owns it, but maybe your Fast and Furious build might have, um, something maybe slightly off, you know, in, in terms of one of the options that you weren't too sure about, and maybe you can change it up, you know, to make it look even closer, um, you know, in terms of, like, certain options that you might have missed, or... Maybe you didn't do the blue interior. I see a lot of people kind of miss that. They don't do the blue interior for some reason. Or they choose the wrong bumpers or the other wheels, which I don't like. I think these fit it the best personally. But, um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the Fast and Furious 1 Mark IV Supra build. Thanks for watching. And, of course, let me know uh, what Fast and Furious build you want to see me do next. And I'll see you in the next one.